Welcome to Electrical Stuff. This is a channel is about complete knowledge in building sector. Today's our topic is circuit breakers part one. Let's start our video. Guys, I make videos on different uh, topics in building sector such as electrical designs and uh, distribution board calculations as well as many other videos. In the process of uh, continuation process of videos, I make I explain the conduits as well as cable tray. Now this topic is for circuit breakers. So let's see what's today agenda. Today agenda is that we will be see what is circuit and overload over current and third is short circuit and finally what is circuit breakers. And my process of video explanation is that I, I would like to tell from scratch to final product. So that is the reason I'm before I'm explaining the circuit breakers these terminologies we have to be learned so that we can understand each uh, concept from the beginning. So let's see first topic circuit. Let's understand circuit with some practical examples. So in in our case you see this is a light. This is a normal light. For light what we will do we will this is a battery so connecting the cables these are the cables this is the positive terminal and this is the negative terminal we are connecting a wires like this this is the fashion way so this is called a circuit to feed power supply to the load is called circuit in simple terminology so how we can uh, draw these things means see you have a source you have a load this is a source battery is a you see this is a battery is a source and this is a load so this is called load so when a source to load there is a closed loop closed loop we are connecting with the wires is basically called the circuit simple meaning you you just uh, you understand the simple meaning power supply feeding to the load in a closed manner is called the circuit you and you see here there is a mechanism here you see this one what is this mechanism we are making or breaking circuits we are opening or we are closing circuit this is with a some devices we will uh, coming slides we will see what is this devices okay this is the circuit let's see next topic overload to understand overload i am giving you a practical uh, some example this is me okay i can i can carry the load of one bag one bag approximately this is a consider 50 kgs so i can uh, carry a bag of 150 kgs i can handle so if you are providing me two bags of same things so how how much load this is 100 kg can i withstand can i withstand answer is no i cannot withstand what will happen with me i collapse so i fell down so that is the reason this terminology you are increasing 50 kg to 100 kg this is called overload this is called overload so what is 50 kg this 50 kg it's can bearable this is also load but i can withstand up withstand withstand load so this terminology is called the overload and this is called withstand load so you understand now it's in now the same thing we will see with a practical example what is overload in the circuit now we will be see the overload in a circuits how it is look like see this is a simple my this is a my socket okay socket outlet practically socket out, outlet wattage is uh, for single socket we use as a 200 wattage but to understand the practical purpose i just uh, example purpose i consider 1000 wattage load okay so we know the formula what is our formula 
power is equal to VA cos pi. This we know for single phase. Then, uh, in the during the normal case, what will the happen? You implemented the value same here. This is the load thousand you are providing here. And then uh, thousand you are providing here. Then this is the voltage. So what is the single phase voltage? 230 volts. So single phase voltage you are implementing. What is I? This is the load current. This is the load current, which we have to be find out. What is this one? Is a power factor. Power factor. So what we will the value of the I means if you calculate I value, it is coming 5.43 amperes. So during the normal case, I mean without the overload case, what, what will happen? This our load current is 5.43 amperes. This is the in the in the other slide which I explained. This is a withstandable withstandable load. Consider you understand. So this is the I. So what will happen in the overload overload case? We will see. So same example I am showing you this socket. What we generally we will do you you know practically this one socket we are connecting these much of loads. So we will be bring one extension. This is a extension box we bring the extension box here with this extension box again we will be taking the branches circuit you see this is the one branch this is another this is another so this is one this two and this three and this is, this is the fourth circuit and another this second circuit we again connected to like a three or four so totally five six so see how many load this is a one socket from the one socket we are taking the number of branches so what will happen this load so let me uh, in the practical initially this is the load is thousand this load is a thousand wattage okay so in this case what will happen we will see i'm considering this total load as a 5000 watts example for the example purpose okay so same formula we are applying power is equal to va cos pi in the va cos pi uh, overload this is the overload case so what will happen this is the wattage this is the wattage of the uh, 5000 this is the 5000 this one 5000 this is a voltage again single phase voltage what is a single phase voltage 230 volts single phase voltage so this is the load current this is the power factor same case so what is the i value i value will become 27.17 ampere earlier this is the just give me a moment yeah during the normal case normal case i mean without overloading current is equal to 5 point something 5.4 ampere something what is the difference you see this now the difference is equal to uh, now the load current is 27 what is the difference around around 20 something 21 point something change so 21 amperes is extra so intended purpose is 1000 watts we are connecting all these parameters so the load current will be increases these these all you are adding extra load so what is overload you are adding extra load extra load so this extra load is called over load so very simple now i hope you understand this concept because in coming my videos these terminology overload and uh, normal load overload and over current this terminology is used widely now we will be see the next thing similarly over current so uh, what is the our our over current over current case we will see what is over current similarly in the same example these these extensions is called the overload and the, due to the overload how much current is drawn 
our case is 27 amperes so this current is called over current or current because the load is load you are increasing what will happen your current will also increase correct or no if you are increasing load then what will happen the the from the source from the source current will be drawn more the current will be drawn more this is what we will be see the example so in the during the 5000 wattage your current your current is 20 how much 27 amperes during the 1000 wattage your current is equal to 5.4 amperes so you see the difference this this is the normal this is the normal current i mean this is the load current normal case this is a normal case this 5000 is the over overload case so this overload current this during the overload how much current is drawn that is called the over current this over current is good for the our circuits it means big no yes it is not recommended or currents are not recommended so if over current run what will happen you may ask the question next question so if you draw the over current so this initially 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 one second let me take the black one so it is it is visible so during the normal case this fire this load is i know what is the load initially this is a thousand watts this is what my example thousand watts so during the thousand watts i will design the cable this is my cable cable or wire whatever running so this item i am design so for thousand watts i consider how much cable i design for example this is a 2.5 mm square wire okay i design so what is happening when this load is 1000 to 5000 watts increasing so this 2.5 mm square can withstand 5 amperes say 5 amperes are example say 10 amperes it can be withstand up to 10 amperes it can be withstand but if i am increasing the load 5000 watts what is the current is uh, now 27 amperes so these 27 amperes will damage the my cable what will happen damage the damage the cable damage the cable so in order to in order to protect the uh, circuit in a, this is this whole item is called the this whole item is called the circuit so in order to protect these circuits from the overload or over current we need some devices those devices is nothing but the nothing but circuit breakers so another important terminology we we have to be covered that is that what is that one short circuit so what is short circuit now we will be see this is the my load for this load i have a r phase y phase b phase neutral this is my what is this my mine uh, this is a three phase okay three phase load so three phase circuit so three phase circuit what is happening so there is a short circuit so consider this r phase and uh, neutral is short r and short what will happen phase it means phase and neutral short so okay this is the one condition another condition phase phase either phase phase maybe r y phase or r b phase or y b phase either phases will be short either three phases are going to short these are the cases so these cases what will happen what will happen 
there is a during the short circuit current will flow not one two three it's a multiple times of multiple times of load load current so it is huge current is increased i mean enormous of current will be flow during the short circuit how much current will be flow what type of uh, formula we have to be find out for the short circuit in a coming videos i am going to explain now i start the circuit breaker topics so in coming videos i i explain one by one so during the short circuit calculation topic i will explain how much current will be drawn there is a very detailed things are there so in this video we will understand the short circuit concept so short circuit case this this is the this is how we will be get the short circuit so due 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 to the short circuit huge current will be flow so what is going to happen so normal our, our case is sorry our case what will happen our circuit as i show you before this is my load this is my load and this is my source so this already this is a cable this is a cable so as i told you the load i know and then there is a this cable is already like for example our case 2.5 mm square but any short is any short circuit occurred what will happen huge current will be drawn so whether our cable will be handle those currents answer is no it cannot handle the short circuit current so what we have to be do we have to be do we have to be do we need we need some mechanism here we need some mechanism here to protect the circuit this type of mechanism is called circuit breaker this type of mechanism is called circuit breaker so we can protect the circuit in order to damage damage the in order to the damage from from three items what is one one is the over current another one is the uh, overload and third is the short circuit so to protect all these things it is called the circuit breakers so usually we will be the we will be the protect uh, we will be the protect the circuit this is the c this is a our my circuit breaker and then i need the load and some switch then this is the load and this is the my source this is a mechanism to open or close the switches so this is circuit breaker usually circuit breakers are we are providing in in what is the call this is the final distribution board final distribution board distribution board we are providing circuit breakers so what is what in simple terms we can say circuit breaker why we require circuit breakers means circuit breaker is a device which protect the circuit from the overload over current and short circuits this is a simple concept so uh, many people will be saying different different concept but my way is to understand from the scratch so that what is the terminology if you know what is the circuit terminology then what is the concept of the overload uh, what is the concept of the over current then what is short circuit these terminology if you know then it is easy to understand why we required how to how to overcome these things it means we we need circuit breaker so this is the topic of why we required circuit breakers what is the concept of circuit breakers in coming videos i am going to explain what is circuit breaker how it look likes and uh, what are type of components are inside there and how to operate the circuit breakers we will see in the coming videos
there is a lot of series of circuit breakers topics are coming so please keep watching the videos to understand the concept if you have any further doubts further queries please let me know in the comment section thanks for watching good day bye bye